What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange, baby. We're finally back. It's finally been released. We've been waiting so long for episode 3 to come out and it's finally here. And let me tell you guys, a lot of people have said this is by far the best episode yet. And apparently at the very end, there is a huge twist even more so than the first episode, if you guys remember that. So, uh, this is going to be pretty intense. I'm really excited for it. If you guys are excited to start up this new, like, episode or chapter, whatever you want to call it, hit that thumbs up button. Without further ado, let's go see what Max and Chloe are up to. I've got a feeling we're going to get in some trouble. Look at this up in the top left there. She's creeping through what looks like might be the school at night with a flashlight. So, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be interesting. Here we go. All right. Let's do this thing, boys. I'm pumped. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. Here we go. Called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey. Stelm and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> what are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffey, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Right, Life is Strange, a story based on game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. We know that, baby! Alright! Here we go, boys. Blackwell Academy. Life is Strange, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Looks like we've kind of changed our dorm up a little bit. Since when do we have a hamster? What the hell? Or a bunny? That's a bunny, not a hamster. Kate! Oh, she's dreaming about Kate's suicide. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Go put the bunny! I still can't stop thinking about Kate. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Yay! We fed the bunny! I wonder if he would have died if we didn't feed him. Alright. Now it's time to go.
Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Oh, shit. There's Kate's door and her shrine. What are you up to, girl? Dana? What's happening in? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Mm. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. All right, well, that Victoria was in, uh... Here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Oh! Where's Victoria's room? Juliet. That's the bathroom over there. I forget where her room is. Nice. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Asshole. Oh, there's Kate. <laughs> totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Oh, shit. Why the hell does it keep zooming in on that damn lion thing? Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. That Tweemo bitch Max Cockfield just got me effing suspended. <laughs> That's funny. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Trash cans gotta That's be good, a right? Bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. All right, well, we didn't find anything in her room. So now I guess we're gonna go meet, uh, meet our girl, Chloe. Let's do it. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I think that's this way. Uh-oh. Principal ah, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What am I supposed to do? Look at me, feeling sorry for myself when Kate Barch's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. 
Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. I feel like we need to turn on the sprinklers or something and get them to move. Uh-oh. Max? Warren's ticked as well. Whoa, keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, whore. Firma Nazis will be exterminated. Watch out. And then my mom. My mom texted. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. So we turned on the water before. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. Oh, what the hell? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Well, there's nothing in here. Look at that squirrel chasing fireflies. That's awesome. Alright, well, I don't know how we're supposed to get by him. So I guess we're going to just have to... Uh... Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Should we just try walking by? Because we can always go backwards in time. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. <laughs> You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Hmm. That thing looks suspicious. Maybe we had to do that first, and now we're going to have to go back here, and now there's going to be something new, like a ladder. That ladder down in there, it didn't let us select it before, but I'm thinking maybe we could go up on, like, the, um... On the, the roof above him. No. Nothing here. Girl stuff. Magazine. All right. <clears throat> well, that's not it. Where are we supposed to go, boys? 